everyone, on today's episode of Human Syndrome, Ben and I are talking about Persona! You'll never see it coming! Ben Moore! Mike Huber! Persona, the gift that is going to keep on giving. Huber, when I'm on this show, I feel like I need to yell. Yes. I'm from the energy. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Ben, you know I love Persona. I do. You love Persona the most. You dressed up as Ryuji. That's that's some pretty high dedication, I think. Ryuji. Yeah. Ryuji. Yeah. All right, so Persona 5. This is perfect timing, Ben, because I have been itching to just replay Persona 5. And now they announced this Royal Edition. Yes. What can we expect? What's your hype level? Are you going back to a 100-hour game? Is this enough? So, it's been a journey of emotions. There's some things that are really exciting. Yeah. Uh, that release date, I think, is a little bit hard to swallow uh, because it's a new version of Persona 5, which is, of course, exciting. Waiting till 2020, uh, especially Harsh. with new consoles coming Harsh. around the corner, it's good. But... It's kind of cool because I think if I had Royal before these other spinoffs, like yeah. Persona Q2 and Persona 5 Scramble, which we'll get to, yeah. I think I would be less excited to play them because to me, this is like the main course. Yes. The thing that I want the most. I want to see how they're going to change this game that I really, really love. So yeah. I actually kind of like that it's coming out afterward, building yeah. up to this thing. Yes. So that's that's how I, I've, I've kind of framed it in my mind right now. And little headcanon here, if the PS5 is coming out that year, yeah. I'm gonna treat this as like a farewell to one of the greatest games right. of the generation. A fantastic send off, <laughs> really. A yes. fantastic send off. Yes. So, first things first, the thing that has me most excited, Ben, yeah. you just told me, you told me all the updates for this. Yeah. The thing that has me the most pumped is the can the counselor. The counselor's the, the thing that's the counselor. Is a, because that's a good Huber answer. Because yeah, I, like I, I love high school dramas, and the counselor is always one of the most interesting aspects yeah. for me of this because they're just trying to help the kids through. And you, oh like, man, I, I should have shown you a picture uh, of this guy, but just <laughs> visualize this in your mind. Yeah. He, this guy looks like the chillest dude you've ever seen. Yes. I mean, he's wearing sandals. He, in his artwork, he's just <laughs> holding a jukebox. It's like you look at him and you're like, yeah. He's going to fix me. Yes. He's going to fix me. That's so great. Yeah. yeah, it's great. Now, the thing I'm not too hyped on, and I think it's because three minutes ago, we watched <laughs> the Sonic the Hedgehog trailer. That's affecting your it's persona. A, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm seeing more human Morgana, and I'm, I just see Sonic right now. And I'm okay. freaking out. <laughs> Help me out here. Um, human Morgana is interesting, and it's hard to speculate exactly how it will happen or yeah. how it will play out. Obviously, in Persona 4, that is a thing, yeah. right? And yeah. um, I, I, I think they just, it's an attempt to make that character even more relatable. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of crazy. Like, you didn't see the picture of it, but I saw Human Morgana, and it's this gorgeous-looking kid. Yeah. And that's a weird sentence to say. <laughs> yeah. But just, like, it, 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 it's a change that I'm curious about. It's yeah. exciting. It's something way different than what I'm used to from this cat that's always hanging out yeah. in my room or following me around to school. And so, uh, yeah, I uh, I don't know what it's going to be like or even if I'm going to yeah. like it. But at least it's it's wild. And I think if you're not going to be DLC, right? Yeah. If you are going to be, we are charging you again, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I want weird, crazy, huge additions. And I'm not saying this is a huge one, but at least yeah. it's weird. Totally. Yeah. All right, I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Ben Moore's been playing Arkham Knight on the I side. Have. Yes, I we're, have. We're not going there, but mm -hmm. I do want to bring it up because they added the Season of Infamy DLC, which they kind of wedged into the existing game. And it kind of seems like they're doing that with Royal. Do you think that's going to mess up what I consider just already a pretty perfect game? Like yeah. Does, are, you, are you nervous at all? Or, or is this like a director's cut kind of the true story? Where's your, where's your headspace? So my headspace is this. Um, there are a lot of people that are concerned because Atlas, at least recently, I feel like the internet in general has been less receptive to kind of the additions that Atlas has made to some of its games. And I think just in, no matter what, in general, uh, it's hard when you do love something and it gets changed. You're not sure how you're going to love it. For me, Twin Snakes is an infamous example. Like, I just no. didn't work for me. Um, but the way that I'm looking at it is no matter what, at least I have Persona 5, right? Yes. Like, that's not going away. Yes. And <clears throat> if they just ported it to another system, that'd be great. Like, yeah. it would be really cool to play it on the Switch if that were an option. But I think I'm even more excited about being like, okay, what 
what do I want that you haven't shown me yet? Yeah. And they're adding a lot. I mean, they're adding... It even, sounds crazy. Right. They're adding a whole new semester. Yeah. That's that's a lot of time. Yeah. Like, you, what are you going to fill that with? What is it going to be like? What are we going to be doing? I mean, it's at is the it end gonna, of the story, too. Yeah. So does all of that happen, and then you right. just keep going? Could be catastrophic. <laughs> yeah. Could Could ruin the game for me. Yeah. But... It feels big, and I like yeah. that. And the, the new character, I think, is really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, super evocative of Joker, um, and just... Uneasy alliance. Yeah, everything that they're presenting about Kasumi is... I don't know if I agree with you guys, and I think that's something that actually the Phantom Thieves could use a little bit of, yeah. is a little bit more Dissension. constant disagreement, yeah. and and maybe like even splitting apart the group a little bit, and, and forming mm. sides, I don't know. Dude, Civil War. Could be cool, <laughs> but I like the concept a lot, yeah. for sure. What are you most excited about with this with this release? Okay, so two things that I'm excited about, very Ben Moore things. Okay, okay. The, I wouldn't say the most, I think Kasumi <laughs> I'm most excited about, yeah. but Ben Moore things I'm very excited about, they're doing dual all-out attacks, man. So you're gonna have Ryuji okay. and Makoto doing their own special attack, brand new animation, yeah. going crazy. Yeah. I think that's really, really fun. And as much as I love the all-out attacks, yeah. You kind of get used to seeing them after a while. Yeah. So having more stuff to spice them up is awesome. Yeah. Futaba is my favorite character in the game. I really like her a lot. I like yeah. her story. I relate to it. She has a brand new all that attack. So she's getting into the mix a little bit more. No. Nice. Which I think is really cool, Hubert. Good. Good. Cause cause I remember she would like pump you up with the stats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She Essential. was the right, the, the support character, the yeah. classic persona yeah. support character. Um, but before we end this conversation, yeah. there's a lot less to talk about. Oh, also, the grappling hook. We have to mention the grappling what? hook. What? You get a grappling hook. Yeah. Just so for, the in, <laughs> for the dungeons. Yeah, so in Smash Brothers, yeah. Joker has a grappling hook. Yes. Now you get a grappling hook and you can use it to interact with the palaces. How exactly? Very I don't know. Very cool. But we're talking about Batman. Talking and, about like hanging chandeliers, right. a little zip up there. Right. It could open up a whole new dynamic to how dungeons are. Maybe it'll be awful. I don't know. But. Sounds exciting. I loved the stealth in, in the dungeons. It yeah. was so satisfying. Yeah, absolutely. Getting that like neck, the overhead like neck snap. Yeah, I don't think that so the dungeons good. were perfect, but I really appreciated the effort to make so many of them feel unique mm -hmm. and have little different things going on. And when you improve on the previous game in a series, I take more stock in that than just like Comparing it to all video game dungeons, you yeah. know? The fact that it's just so much better than four yeah. in that Absolutely. sense is Absolutely. like, yeah. Um, before we end this conversation, <laughs> yeah. I have to get your opinion. I've been really down and up and down a little bit again yeah. on Persona 5 Scramble, the okay. Phantom Strikers. Muso. Yeah, so Atlas is teaming up with Koei Tecmo and Omega, Omega Force. They are yeah. making a Muso game. Yeah. How do you feel about it? These, this reminds me of like popcorn yeah where it's inoffensive and it could be amazing and if it's not i just don't order it so i hear you yeah and i i think uh, we talked about it actually on the easy allies podcast people yeah. will probably hear some repetition here but uh persona 5 a long commitment Dude. not everybody can do that muso game a lot easier to get into so it could open <laughs> up people to a, a whole new audience and i agree with you kind of like i was saying if all of these spin-offs were like super long rpgs it would get tiresome and so you need a little bit of that i, I guess popcorn for lack of a better term but yeah. something that isn't that isn't no. is such a huge commitment I, i'm wrong in my in my analysis because i just in my mind thought of Ryuji with a baseball bat right. just smashing away people. And so now you went from popcorn to like steak dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. And um, like, does Joker have like double pistols? Like... <laughs> well, the other, like, you think about Hyrule Warriors, right? Yeah. They have so many crazy characters that you can play as. Like, think about if they get weird, like Sojiro yeah. Yeah. fighting people with coffee. <gasps> Right? Yeah. I said that in the Easy Eyes podcast yes. too, but I love that idea. Um, and like also, man. Like, up with coffee. Yeah! <laughs> and he gets like all. Yeah. Dude, that's perfect. Or or the car or something, bring that yes, in. Yes, that's a special do it. move. Hi. You'll have Morgana come Omega in. Force, uh, hire me. Human uh, Morgana. Human Morgana. Freaking me out. Yeah. Dude. Hmm. Uh, what was it? Oh. These spinoffs, man, sometimes they have a much deeper story than you expect. Um, yeah. So, like, because Persona... I only played Golden. Yeah. I only played that. So, one. Persona 4 Arena takes those characters after the fact and kind of continues the story and, yeah. and has a lot of story there. Like, like a, a lot, a lot for, especially for a fighting game. Yeah. And so, so I think 
We may potentially be underestimating where they go with the plot. It might be more elaborate and involved than we expect, so that could be exciting. Um, I think on the face, like, hey, we're doing a Musso spinoff, not yeah. necessarily the most creative idea in the world, but it could go interesting places. Is it Persona 5 Musso? Or? It is, yeah. So okay. they did not show any other Persona characters from other games Got whatsoever. It. Persona 5 Scramble Man. Phantom Strikers. Honestly, it's just good vibes, dude. I think of like Persona 5, I think of this Musou game, I think of uh, like Royal Edition, I think of Dancing All Night. It's just a good time to be a Persona fan. Yeah. There was that long gap between four and five. Yeah. That I, I got on late to the train. Again, I only played Golden, so it wasn't as long for me, but there's a huge long wait and I feel like patience is being rewarded now. Yeah, initially Persona 5 was, uh... December or winter yeah. winter 2014, so. Brutal, brutal yeah, delays, yeah, yeah. but um, it paid off. Yeah, Good man. things come to those who wait. Dude, I, I swear to God, like, there are a lot of games that I'll play, like even long RPGs where yeah. even if I enjoy them, I'm not, I, I, like I, I did it, yeah. put it back on the shelf, yep. I had my time with it. Yep. There are not that many that I think I'm excited to jump back in, and especially yes. the length of Persona 5, yeah. and I think it, it's not going to be true for everybody. I totally understand if you're like, man, I really don't want to spend all this money for these other things. I get that. Yeah. But yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. I'm, dude, before this was announced like a month ago, I was like getting the itch. Yeah. I was like, dude, I, just, I, might, I might just replay Persona 5 again. Maybe like stream it or something. Yeah. Stream a full playthrough like chopped up. Now? Now you can wait. Just wait for you that. You can rest now. easy. Yes. yes. All right, that's it for the episode. Ben Moore, man came to me and was like, yo, Hubert, let's get hyped on Persona. Yeah, and you were like, yes. <laughs> yes. It, was that, it wasn't even a conversation. <laughs> yes. It was like, yes, let's just do it. Uh, thank you for watching. That was the episode. We will be back next week talking about who knows what. Uh, <laughs> Batman. <laughs> dude, Arkham Knight. <laughs> get it done. Yeah. Thanks for watching.